My name is Carolyn Cowan and I'm a recovering drug addict and alcoholic and I run a fantastic training called Master the Addictive Personality. And today I'm going to teach you how to use the body locks. What are the body locks? How to do them? This is um, a very, very specific yogic technique. It's a series of muscular contractions that contains energy in the body and engages muscle in a way that keeps you really inside your body. And not just keeps you inside your body, but contains you and holds you. If you think about, um, think about how we act out addictively. Think about what we feel like when we want to act out. We want to go out and get something to make us feel better. Now, I, you might want to just sit at home and act out, but the essence of what you're longing for is that something will come from the outside and transform how you feel. So that might be ice cream. That might be pornography on the screen. That might be um, uh, a text message from somebody that you're weaving into your web. That might be, it can be all kinds of things. Intensity, some new drama that you create that allows you to manage your reality by being angry or upset. So if you think about all those things that we do, we essentially lose ourselves. We are, we have no real concept of ourselves. So it can come back to a very simple concept, which is that I find myself unbearable. I need something to come in and make myself feel better. That's the basic nature of addiction in acting out. So what the body locks do is that they gird you. And for some reason, gird is not a very commonly used word. Girdle comes from to gird. Um, warriors used to gird their loins. They used to wrap their hips before battle to make them stronger. And what the pelvic floor and the, which is the root lock, and the belly lock and the neck lock do is that they stimulate the um, abdominal muscles, they stimulate specifically the dorsal muscles, and the root lock stimulates the pelvic floor muscles. And it essentially it contains you and holds you and gives you a really strong sense of yourself. You start to get better boundaries. You start to feel, I can and I am. You start to feel, I can do this. All the stuff that was mentioned in the previous tools about self-parenting, about um, watching your triggers, suddenly you have a tool that enables you to feel centered and I can actually, I'm okay. I don't actually have to go and do that. I can sit with this unbearable feeling, I know it will pass, I have a tool to change how I feel. So watch me go through the three body locks. And essentially what I'm doing as I sit is I'm going to take a long deep inhale and then I'm going to hold the breath. My eyes are closed, my tongue is pulled to the roof of my mouth. And I'm then going to squeeze the anus, the sexual organs, and the belly very, very tightly. So I'm pulling in all the muscles in the base of my abdomen. I'm then going to tighten underneath my ribs, tighten the muscles of the belly underneath the ribs. Notice that the back muscles start to get engaged. And then I'm going to lengthen and tighten the neck, keeping the jaw parallel to the ground. I'm going to keep the breath, keep the squeeze. If you're new to doing this, you notice that you keep needing to re-squeeze, and that's okay. And then exhale. If you practice anything like yoga, it's important to do this full body lock whenever you're sitting really straight. But if you're in a posture that's bent over or isn't with your spine totally straight, then you just pull the root lock. And bit by bit, this grounds the soul in the body. It gives you better boundaries and it gives you better, a much better sense of yourself. The body locks are a really wonderful thing to play with.